Good afternoon, everybody. We are at 150 JFK Drive, Suite 5, at the Dubuque Tattoo Club for a grand opening ribbon cutting. I'm John Donovan, Executive Director for the Dubuque Mercy Health Foundation, and I'm here with Greg Howell, the owner and um, of the Dubuque Tattoo Club. Um, and I'm hoping the day you're watching this, it's as beautiful as, that is, as it is today because it's an absolutely gorgeous day in Dubuque. Greg, um, your weekend is coming up. You've got your grand opening this weekend. Uh, how long have you been here? Uh, we've been here going on five weeks now. Five weeks, that's great. And I know that you've got some other folks here. I'm going to let you introduce them right off the bat and then we'll get to some other questions. Who are your other artists here? Uh, Seth Hines, Alan Bauer, Carl Williams. And our helper around the shop, Matt. Sure. Because you can't do this without uh, without a good staff, and, and that's yeah. great. Um, we are very pleased with the chamber to, to welcome you as a member of the chamber. You've got a great place here. You've got a wonderful place um, with the with the store. Uh, tell me a little bit. What um, first off, a phone number. How how are people going to get a hold of you? Do you have also have a website? Yeah, the website is dbqtattooclub.com. And the phone number is 563-845-0767. Super. And um, five weeks grand opening this weekend. Um, do, you have any, do you have any specials going on that people can come in and do it, get a tattoo for? Yeah, we're going to be doing $50 uh, Florida Lee tattoos. Uh, Florida Lee is kind of a Dubuque thing. It was in the Dubuque Packing House and their logo. And we have it in our logo here also. Um, so that's kind of our thing that we're going to do for 50 bucks. Um, we're going to have a party after 6 o'clock. People are welcome to come in and have drinks and food. Just hang out with the artists, kind of mingle, check out the place. Doing this a little bit differently than tattoo shops had in this area before. So. And from your experience, what, what's usually the inspiration for somebody wanting to come in and get a tattoo? Uh, nowadays, people just think they got to get a tattoo as soon as they turn 18. They don't care what it is, they just got to get a tattoo. And a lot of times, they don't even know what they want when they come in here. You know, they'll just throw out ideas and we draw it up for them. And, Tattoo, and we do probably 99% of the work we do is custom. We don't even have flash racks in here. Uh, flash racks are sheets with designs on them. A lot of tattoo shops have those. We don't even have a single sheet of flash in this shop. It's all custom. And you bring up a good point. They have to be 18 to get a tattoo in Iowa? Yes, yes. You must be 18. You can't bring a parent in. That doesn't work in Iowa. And knowing that this is going to, go, going to this video is going to be going onto the chamber website. Be careful with your answer here. What's the most unusual tattoo that you've done? <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't even go there. <laughs> There's been a few. <laughs> um, how about the most intricate? I mean, have you have you done full body tattoos as well, or? Um, I've never done nothing that big. Uh, the biggest I've done is uh, like a full sleeve. That's it, and it doesn't happen in one session. It takes a lot of sessions, a lot of time to do something like that. And, and I would guess that a lot of us, um, you know, those who have tattoos or a full arm or whatever, that we go, oh, what's going on there? Um, do you find all sorts of folks coming in to get tattoos? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's totally different than it used to be. Um, you know, moms and grandmas come in here and they come in with their kids, they'll come and bring their parent with them and they all get tattooed together. It's become kind of a family thing, like a tradition nowadays. You know, everybody wants to go get tattooed. It's kind of nice. Now, there's a new family tr family tradition you can do over over Thanksgiving or for <laughs> Fourth of July. Come in and get a tattoo together. Oh, that's great. Well, we we do um, extend thanks from the chamber uh, for for joining and and particularly new jobs. Uh, we're about that as well. Uh, I know that the uh, city council. Uh, called in this morning. They were not able to be here today, but they send their congratulations for the new business, as does the County Board of Supervisors, uh, because when a new business, small business, that's really what drives the market, uh, and we're, we're very pleased with that. Well, we've got a sea of red behind you. Uh, you saw us filtering across the, uh, the parking lot as we came in, and we also have a presentation for you, and doing that uh, for today is Jim Shoemaker. Jim? Thanks, John. Great, congratulations. Um, beautiful place here. You know, I, I know um, if I could, I think this was the old Mana Java, right? 
Uh, that was next door. Oh, next door. I was just Houston. looking at the ceramic top, the floor. It looks like concrete. But concrete. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful place. And as John said, these folks here are your chamber ambassadors here today just to congratulate you, welcome you to the chamber, and also what a great location here on the West End near House of China. We put together a nice media package today to com commemorate the day. And Radio Dubuque, along with Queen Bee Radio, has been announcing your ribbon cutting throughout the day on their uh, radio stations. Lamar Advertising has placed it on their digital billboard throughout town for the past week, um, announcing it as well. And um, let me see here, Greg, this has been a day or two since I've done one of these. But um, also the, the filming that's being done will be shown on uh, uh, Mediacom, thanks to On Media, Brian Zeman with On Media, and uh, their business limelight will be will be uh, showing it as well. And this link also will be placed on YouTube that you could send it out to any of your folks. And I know you mentioned you have a website. You can certainly send it out to friends, family, all across the country to to see your ceremony and and see what you got going on here on the West End. Um, this plaque here has been designed by a uh, fellow ambassador, Mr. Gary Olson, and it's been beautifully framed by Creative Touch Gallery, thanks to Bill Casebauer. It says, on the occasion of your ribbon cutting, Dubuque Tattoo Club, LLC, we celebrate your success and the contribution you have made to our economy and business community. I don't know if it's, hey guys, can you do a little bit better than this? This guy's pretty good. <laughs> That's some pretty good artwork. I don't know if that's going to become a tattoo on Gary Olson's back. I'm, I'm his back. <laughs> but I think it's probably going to have to be a back kind of tattoo. But that's for you. We hope you'll probably display this here in your walls. And along with that are the business cards of the folks in attendance today. And there's also a couple passes here, free passes to business AM, PM. We hope that you and some of your employees might partake in some of the chamber events throughout town. If you need anyone here, uh, Greg, for any reason, give us a call. Uh, these folks are well connected in the community, and I don't know if, uh, um, how many, I think Michael Armstrong was talking about a new tattoo. Michael is back here, if we can pan in on him. But um, obvi obviously your services are needed. Um, I, I see it at the health clubs, all the different tattoos, and, and some of them are done in well taste. So congratulations, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, good luck on your venture. Greg, anything else uh, you'd like to share with us before we cut the ribbon about uh, the Dubuque Tattoo Club? Uh, I don't know. I just hope we have a nice impact on the community. Uh, we're the first tattoo shop on the West End. That's something big for us. We didn't want to be downtown. Uh, we want a, like a different kind of clientele than we get downtown, so we're happy to be up here. How many years, Greg, have you and your staff been doing tattoos? Um, I've been tattooing almost eight years. Um, how long have you guys been tattooing? About three and a half. Three and a half. Six. Six. Five. Five. So a good, a good, also good do, amount of experience. I also do body piercings here also. Okay. All right. Folks, once again, we're at 150 JFK Road, Suite 5, at the Dubuque Tattoo Club, and we're about to cut a ribbon. One, two, Dubuque Tattoo Club. Yay.